Hey guys, welcome to a quick walkthrough of my latest template, the line play template. This will be the base template. I will be publishing some alternate templates, but these will be Patreon only. So I'm, I've just launched my Patreon uh, website. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in supporting me, it would be much appreciated. Uh, there's a link below my video. So on my Patreon site, there will be exclusive content. I will continue providing free content like the base template here. And that will be basically my mode going forward. Free content for everyone, uh, but there will be some exclusive uh, content for my patrons. So uh, in any case, so uh, we're going to walk through this template here. Um, when you open it up, right, you can see these different components, these different blocks. So essentially, it's fairly simple. Uh, we've got a block with the main text that you can see displayed here. That is the really the soul of this template, if you will. Then you've got some of the niceties, the matrices you see around here. So let me just quickly display that here. And both of these are going into a Merge 3D. We add a camera and a bit of animation, render it out, add an erode delay. So let me quickly show that here. Erode delay makes the lines a bit thicker and then a tiny bit of soft glow and then we're done. So all very simple. Now, what you, if you don't want to do too much, the one thing of course you do want to do is change the text because I can't imagine you actually wanted, wanting to use the text I've got here. So the text you can change in the expressions, uh, in the expression here. So just change it to your liking. You can of course also add words, but just ensure that the length of your comp composition is sufficient. And then the next important thing is that the timing, if you wanna change the timing, you need to do it in a few places. In this expression, so this means here basically every 200 frames the word is changing. So let me quickly illustrate that if I pop that in both viewports. Uh, so if I run this, you see the text is being built up. Right? I'll speed it up a bit. If I go just a bit closer to 200, let's build up. And then you can see what's happening after 200. You see that things are changing. And with that, the word is changing like so. All right, so this is determined, the, the speed, by this 200 over here. Now, there's one other place, or actually two other places where you would need to change it. First of all, um, in the P spawn, there's uh, an expression for the lifespan. It's not absolutely necessary to change it there, but you will get some old effects or artifacts if you don't. So change the 200 here and here as well. And also there is some animation associated with the camera, which you can see here, the Z or Z offsets and the transform, the rotation here, they are both set to 200. And then there is a loop going on. So if you want to change things here, you would, um, sorry, if you're going to change the 200 to something else, you would need to change the timing here as well. Okay, that's very important. But just going back to the text plus node, um, what I failed to mention is that the font, the template is set to is Roboto. I use that an awful lot, maybe way too often. Uh, if you don't have that installed, it will be blank here and you will it will throw up an error, right? Because it can't find the font. So set it to something you've got installed. Um, what's important then, and I'll display the text over here, is that the size of the font here is suitable for the maximum length of any of your words, right? So to ensure that basically it doesn't exceed the frame. Of course, you could keyframe the size as well based on your chosen timing. Um, but again, uh, you'd need to do that. Okay, so um, that is high level basically it. You change the text, you can change the timing. Of course, you could change other things, right? So in the, um, the color of the text here is in effect determined in the p-spawn in the style tab. So if I, for instance, pull it back here, 
and you can see my system is a bit old so it takes a bit there you can see text is changing and in the final result you see it as well but let me un undo that and quite like that so you can change that but also um, for the matrices you see uh, they are determined over here in, this, in essence and maybe that's a bit interesting to see here the matrices are based on the fast noise node and then I add a custom tool and I put in a bunch of expressions to turn that into a mosaic and we do a bit more here and we've got some animation going on as well and ultimately right, we turn it into something like this and then that feeds into another particle system and that yields something like this so I've got a bunch of matrices floating in space lovely so both of these are fed into the merge 3d so if you want to change the color of these here um, you would need to change where am I the particle emitter go to the style tab and here you see that I'm varying I've got a variance on the blue channel right because instead of the default zero it is set to one that's why you see a bit of a blue tinge for some of them okay of course you can replace this with anything you can put if, if you will you know little videos in here in space just space them out and pop them into the merge 3d node you know change it to your heart's content but the real real stuff is happening all in this box and i won't go into the detail as to really what's happening here but just i'll briefly say something the real animation here so let me just show it here again is based on the p custom here the p custom is moving particles around and it's based on a few fairly simple expressions this is all being affected by this expression for the mass now i'm using mass because this is an unused variable in here so you can use that to do whatever you want and to sort of then store values um, so i well, at certain points i calculate values random values and the random values generated here will affect the velocity and based on this the particle will go either to the right or to the left or it will go up or down or it will move in z space right and this is all being affected by some other parameters here that you can set i won't go into the detail here um, i may do a future tutorial that goes more in depth but it's out of scope for now so um, i think that's all there is to it okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this see you guys next time if you've got any questions uh, leave them below in the comments and uh, have a great day see you guys later bye bye